Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Otaku Heaven coming at you with another manga chapter review. I'm going to try to switch things up on this one and do it a little bit different. Because I've realized after rewatching some of my old videos that I haven't really been reviewing the manga as much as I've been running over the story with you guys and telling you what I've thought. I mean, it is a review, but it's uh, much longer than it needs to be. I think I can cut it down to probably around between three to five minutes. For your convenience, that would probably be the best. But this chapter would have been out a whole lot sooner, but I had some car issues that I had to deal with, and then I had some homework I had to make up. But anyway, it's here now. I should probably make my channel name Late Clover because of how late it is, but almost every single time. I'm trying to work on that. But anyway, what I think I saw from this chapter was a great deal of progression with Gauch. Gauch not only um decided that he was actually going to protect Asta during this whole thing but once he made it back he made a scene and if you've seen Al Asta when Asta's reaction when Gauss used his um double mirror reflector frame that was um that was my reaction too I looked like Asta for a second <laughs> then after that um the nun is actually able to hold off both Sally and the beast uh, for at least a minute um what is her power level I want to know because after Gauss hits this revelation that he's never actually really tried to protect anybody and that he can um actually try to protect Asa now because he realizes that no matter what he does, even if he powers up his magic or speeds it up, then he's not going to be able to take on that big monster because even his mirror magic double reflector frame, which looked pretty badass, couldn't do anything to him at all. So he realized that he needed to help Gauss and when uh, Gauss needed to help Asa. And when Gauss realized this, he created a new spell in his book, and he's like, oh, well, this is um pretty badass. I can use the mirror magic on someone else now, but I don't have the mana to do this right now. So he asked the nun to predict them for that minute, which the nun, for a little while, and the nun said, well, I can do it for a minute at max, which begs the question, just how powerful is this nun? All right, so this monster and Sally were just pushing all of them back. And Sally even made the comment, it doesn't matter how many you have, you're still going to lose. So, and the um, Mother Teresa can hold all these off by herself. I'm very curious to see where they go with her power and how strong she actually is. She's actually about as interesting as Sally was a couple chapters ago. And Sally is still interesting, but I'm not really sure what she wants just yet. So, Gauss, um, Gauss is working on this thing in the background. And right before this, we see, um, we see Ast, Ast actually um, learns a new moves as well. How he does it, I'm not sure, but he has the, with a, um, no magic power, but he has the ability to do a ranged sword attack, sort of like Zoro's 360 pound cannon, and Sally's interest peaked the second he did it. Basically, the 360 sword pound cannon, or whatever, um, whatever, um, Ass is gonna call it, he didn't, um, really give it a name, he just did a range slice, and then the blaze track ran straight across the monster and managed to cut him from a distance. And Sally was like, how did you do that? How did it work? He was, she was really interested. Like I said, she definitely shows some parallels with the scientist from Attack on Titan. And very and being very interested in a certain thing. Like uh, the um, Attack on Titan girl was interested in the Titans. She's interested in Asta. But Gauss then winds up saying that he's going to fight. He's going to do whatever he can just so Mary could think that he's cool again. That Well, that he's cool again, sorry. And even at one point earlier, um, he said that he actually shouldn't have returned. I don't know what changed at that little moment. Maybe him realizing that he needs to protect someone else because a flashback did, did happen where he's talking to Yami. And Yami's like, well, come work for me. And he goes, well, I don't care about you. I only care about my sister and I'm an escapee. Why would you want me? He goes, I I'll just, just come work for me. And one day that protection and love that you have for your sister... Uh, will grow into a protection that you need to use to protect someone else. So he's doing all this stuff to protect Mary. And he this is this is what helps him unlock this new spell. And this new spell he uses on Asta that makes basically 20 or 30 at least is what we saw of Asta's. It could be significantly more. But it definitely ran up some, um, brought up some naruto type stuff of the ability to give, give him... Um, you know, doubles without actually using a Shadow Clone Jutsu, but it, it definitely reminded me of Naruto simply the, um, because of parallels it shares with Naruto. 
but Gauch isn't in his team, so hopefully we won't see that as a very common thing all the time unless Gauch does wind up joining his team because from what we've seen so far, we haven't really seen Gauch in another team, so it could be very likely that he joins our team if their team isn't always the smallest, you know, the four that they own, that they have, or maybe the three they have, you know, him, Mimosa, and, um, oh, damn, what's his name? I can't think of it. The Lightning guy. Well, that's, that's three guys. And then the Magno. I figure he was just there for that arc. Potentially, Gauss is just there for the fourth of this arc. I'm not sure if um, Ma, um, Magno is actually part of the team or not. Or maybe they're just going to have a new guy come in each time and fill that slot. But um, overall, this chapter was excellent. It was an excellent battle, ch battle chapter. We got to see Gauss and As to have a lot of character development. On top of Aster and Gauch having a lot of character development, that was a badass fight. You can't really say anything bad about this chapter. I mean, at least I can't. And then, then on top of that, they leave the power of the nun up to interpretation. Mother Teresa, just how badass is she? And on top of that, no, <laughs> they're getting all these new powers and Mother Teresa is threatening to hold them all off by herself. Sally just doesn't give a fuck. So just how powerful is Sally on top of that? Or does Sally just have a lot of confidence in Barrow's evolved form? I'm not sure. So there, there, there's a lot of um, a lot of things going on in this chapter, and it's it, it was just excellent. I can't say anything bad about it. So I'm gonna give this chapter a 10 out of 10, guys. That's all. Peace.